Hello and welcome to the series of VMware 101. In this video, we are going to talk about what is vMotion. In the VMware world or VMware infrastructure work, you will hear the term called a vMotion and that will be too frequent. Uh, so let's get started. So what is the uh, vMotion? So vMotion is nothing but virtual machine migration between one ESXi host to another ESXi host. Let me help you with the diagram. So, okay. So, so let's assume this is my ESX1 and I will say ESXi, ESXi1 and ESXi2. Okay. This term will be exactly same as it is if you go in any VMware version whether it is a 3.5 or 6.7, okay? So, you have this ESXi1 and ESXi2. Let's assume you have a virtual machine called VM running on ESXi1, okay? And, and um, you wanted to do some maintenance activity on this physical box or there is a uh, requirement, let's assume this ESXi box is having limitation of 50 gig of memory and you are already running virtual machines with uh, almost 50 gig of memory and uh, you wanted to have this VM or you, you brought new ESXi host, you installed the operating systems or, or hypervisor on it and none of the virtual machines are running on that and you wanted to have this virtual machine migrated from ESXi host 1 to ESXi host 2, what you need to do, you need to do a vMotion. Okay, so so to do the vMotion, there is a requirement. It's called vCenter server. So you, you want to have a vCenter server to perform these operations, and this ESXi host should be part of that vCenter management. Second, you need to have a vMotion network. That is a VM kernel that will that will basically. Uh, do the actual workload migration. You need to have a <coughs> storage which is a centralized storage where virtual machine will be residing. So let's assume this ESXi host should have a management network and this ESXi host should also have the management network. This ESXi host should have the vMotion so I'm just typing M which is management Second is vMotion, so I'm talking at vMotion. So these two important kernels should be available, okay? Um, I will be having a separate video on VM kernel and virtual machine port group. So that will basically help you to understand difference between the, what is VM kernel, okay? So this ASXI host, is, uh, if you don't have vMotion network, you cannot have, uh, you cannot basically migrate this virtual machine from one host to another host. There is a manual way, but if you want to migrate power on virtual machine, you need to make sure the VM storage, VM which is basically residing on the storage, the both, both the host should have the access to the storage because if VM or ESXi cannot see the storage, VM cannot migrate from here to there. Okay. What this vMotion network will do? This network which is basically a high capacity network so, so when you ask virtual machine to be migrate from one ESXi host to another ESXi host, what happened? This vCenter sent a command for ESXi to, <coughs> to basically whatever workload is, is happening. So what is the RAM and, and the CPU work is happening on this virtual machine should get migrated to another ESXi host. And the another ESXi host has the access. So, so basically this VM files, which are the VMDK and VMX are locked on this ESXi host. So as soon as uh, we send send this commands to ESXi host to migrate in social machine. So basically it's run a command about the background on ESXi host to have this, whatever resources running on this virtual machine copied to the another ESXi host via this vMotion network. And uh, those VM already having access to the storage or, or ESXi has access to the storage. As soon as all the data is, is migrated 
from uh, one, one virtual machine or one USXI host or another USXI host, all the resources, let's assume you are running some, some player or some kind of a uh, application. So whatever resources are running on that memory and calculation is happening on the CPU will get <coughs> migrated to the uh, another ESXi host and uh, ESXi host will respond to those query as well or <coughs> it will get updated same time and uh, VM will unlock that virtual machine file and it will get locked to this ESXi host and this ESXi and then there is a one more uh, concept or, or component called vSwitch whether it's a standard or, or standard virtual virtual switch or distributed v switch esxi send or this this esxi sends the uh, request to update the mac table of this v switch or to to update that virtual v switch information that uh, this port group or this uh, virtual machine NIC card has been migrated from this ESXi host to this, uh, the next ESXi and all the traffic will, will get responded from the next ESXi host. I have seen many times you may see the network fluctuation on the virtual machine for a second and it's not more than that or a couple of seconds depending upon the load of the virtual machine and you may see the couple of packet drops but this happens with the power on virtual machine and <coughs> that's the basically called a virtual machine vMotion from one ESXi host to another ESXi host. Similar concepts happen when you, when you uh, perform, uh, when you configure cluster of the ESXi host in a vCenter and if there is a resource crunch on the one ESXi host, the vCenter automatically trigger uh, the vMotion and uh, that's called a DRS which is a uh, distributed resource scheduler. So similar concept, uh, you have 50 virtual machines running on this ESXi host and there is no virtual machine. As soon as add you, you this ESXi host into the cluster of the existing ESXi host and if we seem to think that okay there is enough resources on ESXi2 uh, why not sharing couple of virtual machines from ESXi host to e one to ESXi host to and that vMotion happens automatically and with the help of that it's kind of a load balancing that both the ESXi host will be having a 20 or 25 25 virtual machines on each as per the uh, load configuration or as per the access or requirement from the virtual machine. Uh, so this was very high level explanation about the uh, <coughs> free motion of virtual machines from one ESXi host to another ESXi host. Uh, so storage is very important if you want to have a vMotion of power on virtual machine. If you don't have a centralized storage and if it's VM is running on the local storage of ESXi, you can still do the vMotion and that's called a cold migration that means you have to shut down the virtual machine or power off the VM. If you, if you shut down the virtual machine, uh, then what will happen when you, when you do the vMotion, it's basically uh, VMDKs and VMX and all files which are locally running on the ESXi1 data store will get copied or migrated from ESXi host 1 to ESXi host 2 and then it will get powered on. And this is called a cold migration. Uh, so what we discussed, we discussed the what is vMotion, uh, what are the requirements for vMotion, what is the DRS and how you can do the cold migration as well. I hope this, this data, this information is, is informative for you and you might have learned something from this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. Trust me, you go from 3.5 to, to 6.7 all the vMotion concepts will be working as it is and in future because I don't think there is any any bug or any technology limitation on this vMotion. Yes, they might have increased the limit of vMotion but the concept behind the vMotion, how it works, it will be exactly the same. I hope this video is informative for you. I would like to thank you so much for watching and keep liking and subscribing my channel. See you in another video. Bye-bye.